Two nights ago I did $87 from Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what'd you order? But the biggest one would be... Mc... You wanna... Is it McDonald's? You wanna see it? <laughs> What is up Supplement World? I'm Clarence Romero. I'm one of the athletes here at Supplement World. And today we're gonna be doing a chest shoulders with my coach Travis Smith. But before that, we're gonna be going to the Saskatoon location to grab some essentials before the workout. Grabbing some Seabum pre-workout. This is the new flavor, three peat. You know, three times Mr. Olympia. And I can't wait to try it out. I actually worked out really quick. So good. you think I'm gonna have a good time with it? You're gonna have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Have you tried that? Yeah, dude. I actually posted it on my Instagram and I got the, one of the nastiest pumps this one chest day. So I'm looking forward for that tonight. I'm like a cookies and cream type of guy. So, hmm. so what are you going with? Cookies and cream are honestly cookie dough. So actually we got some cookie dough by Grenade. And we're gonna be taking it after workout. Cool. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> I feel like a kid in like a, a toy store, bro. <laughs> One of my top favorites. <laughs> I'm too excited, man. <laughs> so this is a uh, Chips Ahoy by Ghost. Um, I've been actually using this for a really long time now, and it never disappoints. So I got this pumpkin spice, and it's fall. This it's fall season, so why not? Might as well try it. Might as well try it. We're going to Snap Fitness to uh, train with my coach, Travis Smith. My favorite gym so far, it's definitely gonna be Max Out Muscle, just because of the, the lighting and the posing room, and they have top tier machines. True. And um, because of Morgan too. Morgan is the owner, and uh, I, he's just, I've been looking up to him for a really long time now. The first time I've been to the gym was Fitness for 10, and that was back in like 2013, 2014. Yeah. And I saw Travis and uh, Morgan, I didn't even know their names back then, but those are the two bodybuilders that I've been looking up to since uh, I started lifting. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Travis and Morgan from Fitness for Ten. <laughs> that's awesome. I don't think I've ever. I think I told Travis, but I don't think I told Morgan. That. Okay, my fit. Can I make some jokes? <laughs> some yeah, fake sure. natty jokes. Okay, this is my fake natty snack. Or snack. <laughs> so I take um, five grams of believe believe uh, micronized creatine. Um, I take rice for a pre-workout. Um, intro workout, I take Carb HD and an EAA, and my EAA brand is uh, Hydromino. Sometimes, I believe, I just switch it around. And for my shake, um, I usually just go to Supplement World for, for shakes after workout, or I have my Hydro Pure. Like, my once, ideal cheese meal? Yeah. Sushi, man. All you can eat oh, sushi, man. Yeah, you told me that. People say bur it's burgers and fries. I mean, I like burgers and fries, bro. But sushi, bro? It can't beat it. Sashimi, man? Shopping. Grocery shopping, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, we're shooting the vlog. So Polly, sir, yeah. what's going on, man? What you got okay. there, Trev? Well, I got EVP, AQ, full cap, 20 grams, straight liquid glycerol, crazy pump. The new C-Bomb pre-workout, three peat flavor. What's that taste like? Well, yeah, you guys are gonna know. I'm not champion. sure, man. There's no what? Yeah. No. Oh, <laughs> you're a champion? Oh, you should know. I like that it's not too high in caffeine either. You just load it and pump. What is up guys? So we are hitting a chest and delt workout with the 23 year old phenom Clarence. So I'm gonna go through, do one fly movement, two press movements for chest, then move into delts where it's not fitness here. So come check it out. Chest up high. And yeah, it's, it's not a fly, it's more so a press. So just like, let, let your hands go back, where the cables pull it back, stretch as far as you can, and bring your elbows together. The key is to bring your elbows together, just to squeeze as hard as you can. Stretch, stretch in here, stretch, stretch, stretch. 
And squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good, it's perfect. It's a perfect drop. But you know, if you look at the way this pivot set up with his elbows and his hands and his shoulders, there's no impingement, everything's lined up. That's the, mo so that's the most efficient way to train the chest in this exercise. All right, so what we're gonna do here is cluster sets. Uh, we're gonna do three cluster sets of four. So four hard reps, stretch and squeeze, and then just sit in the stretch position for 10 seconds. I'll count to 10, four more, count to 10, four more. And then when you're done, I want you to hold, hold the pose so most muscles long, or for, we'll do it for 30 seconds. So it's like, 30. squeeze as hard as you can. And four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, go. Still good reps. Two. Come on, Charles. Three. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Drive. Ah. Oh yeah, let's do sets of four. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Two. Come on. Three. One. Let's go. Push. Nice. Thirty seconds. That is hard. Good. Yo, come on. Chest up on that. Make it hurt. It's the last one. Make it hurt. One. Come on, perfect dress. Three, come on. Last one. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. How's that? Oh man. So I'm just flexing my chest, aka doing the most muscular to keep the blood flow in my chest. Since I have I don't have the best muscle mind muscle connection. So I'm drawing as much blood as in here as possible. Like every set or every other set really helps me. I've been doing it for a few weeks now and uh, I feel my chest a lot better if I flex it in between sets. Pretty good. We're doing a slight decline dumbbell press. Um, I like using dumbbells first off just because freedom to move around so your elbows aren't locked into a fixed position or your wrists. Just again, a lot of like the way I train now, it's for longevity, you know? Like I can train like this for a long time. If you're barbell pressing every week, then you're, there's a good chance you're gonna run into issues down the line if you don't have really good mobility. Um, why I like the slight decline is just so you can kind of hit the sternal head of your pack a bit more, which is lower, I guess is the word. Yeah, it just feels better, honestly. All right, come on, Lance. Let's see it. Big chest. Great, good. Four. Good control. Bring your elbows together. Five. Yes, there you go, just like that. Six. Come on! Push! Hey, easy. All day, man. Come on. You got more. Push! Right, come on. Go again. Oh, man, fucking show me. Try! Try! Come on! Come on! That's all you. There you go. Almost there. 
Push go, 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 There we go. Seven. Let's go. Let's go. Eight. Come on. Nine. Come on. One more. Okay. Go, go! Well, that's good. is unilateral. You know those cables, they had independent handles, so you know it's not like one arm can take yeah. over. They're both working at the same capacity. Same with dumbbells, independent handles. Same with this, look. This one moves, doesn't mean that one moves. So, so you know both sides are working. Good, lock it. Lock it. Stretch, pause, drive your elbows. Got it. You got it, Trav. Two. Good boss. Three. Come on. Let's go. All the way. Push, push, push. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. One more. All the way. You gotta try. Oh, you gotta try. Oh, That's what? Drive. Go, go, go. Good shit. Good shit. Travis. Lightweight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So we just finished up chest, we did a fly, a slight decline press, and then kind of a flat press with a neutral grip, which felt really good. I really like this Nautilus machine, it just feels good on all the joints. So three exercises, now we're gonna go into delts, do three exercises for that, and then maybe like a superset type thing, just a ton of blood flow, really stretched out, and yes. Get it done. Shoulder blades push down. See, it's not like that. It's like that. And then I'm thinking about hitting the hitting the wall with the top of my hands for that one. 
pause for a second, stretch as far as my lateral bell to go, and just squeeze it. One, come on. Two, let's go. Three. Three. No back, no legs, just shoulders. See sheet meal like biggest yeah. recently. Two nights ago I did $87 from Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what'd you order? But the biggest one would be Mc you wanna see Is it McDonald's? You wanna see it? <laughs> yeah, see it. Oh shit, it was ninety-five. <laughs> Fuck. $95 a DP? That's where all my money goes, man. <laughs> yeah, so I got See it. one frosted sugar cookie blizzard, one cinnamon roll blizzard, one crispy chicken sandwich, one flamethrower double, one loaded steakhouse double, fries, onion rings, <laughs> soft drink, and a liter of soft serve. <laughs> the liter? It was, it was free. It was free. I wouldn't have got it otherwise. <laughs> Jesus. 
Shit! How are you feeling, man? I feel like I got some Death Star delts, man. Do that. Yeah, Proper training. Proper training. Proper training. Precision training. All right, so that wraps up our chest delt workout. Clarence, what do you think? How was it? That was really good, man. Was um, it? I really got, had some pointers that I got from Travis, um, especially the, the delts, like whatever you guys just saw there. And uh, especially the, I think one of the main reasons why I'm not feeling my chest as much is because I'm not really like feel like the elbows together. Yeah, he, he taught me that today, so I gotta keep that in mind every chest day. Yeah, see, like if you look at the function of the chest, you know, it's essentially to bring the arm across the body, like add up or shoulder adduction, I guess, essentially, or it'd be chest adduction. So then that's just bring your elbow across the plane of your body. Um, but yeah, that was really good. Um, I'm pumped up and done, man. We, this is way later than I usually really train. Good. It's like 10, 9 p.m. So. You're getting it done. Yeah, anyways though, we did try the new Seabum pre-workout, the free beat flavor before we trained it, which was good. It was like a lemon lime candy type thing. I didn't really taste anything like it. It would be honestly the most comparable to like Prevail sour, sour lime. Sour lime gummy worm, except like more like candy and less sour, but it's really good. Added that 20 grams of liquid cholesterol, the EVPAQ. Um, a tiny around. You'll, you'll probably see we were pretty pumped in this, <laughs> just mainly due to that, I would say. So, but no, there's crazy products and it's a good workout. So, that's it for today.